this is a neat 2016 question which says an inductor of 20 mh that is what is given for his inductance is 20 milli henry a capacitor of 50 microfarad that is 15 to 10 power minus 6 farad and a resistor of 40 ohms are connected in series across that means there is an inductor a capacitor is an LCR circuit connected to a AC source as shown where this voltage is given for you as 100 sorry 10 sin 340t it is in a format like V equal to V naught sin omega t that implies V naught that is the peak voltage is 10 volt angular velocity of that AC wave is 340 radian per second that was the given data then what you want is what is the power loss in the circuit we can calculate the power using the formula power average can be written like I average square into R how can I get I average that is EMF voltage maximum V naught by Z whole square and R where Z is called something like impedance of the circuit that is overall opposition to the flow of the circuit in the flow of the opposition to the flow of the current in the circuit this is L C R this L will have an opposition to the flow of current called XL called reactance of the inductor XC reactance of the capacitor and R and we know that the current passing through inductor and capacitor are in opposite phase so the resistance the reactance is in opposite phase and resistance is perpendicular to both of them XL is opposite to XC and for that combination resistance is perpendicular so the total opposition to the flow of the current called impedance of the circuit is as XL and XC are opposite XL minus XC for that R is perpendicular so the resultant is square and square they like a are perpendicular to each other that is the impedance of the circuit Z here so first I can calculate Z once I know XL and XC XC equal to 1 by omega C as I found omega is 340 C is 50 microfarad 50 into 10 power minus 6 XL is omega L that is 340 into L is 20 into 10 power minus 3 resistance R is 40 ohms substitute all of them in the equation here so that I will get the value of Z impedance Z equal to root of XL that is 340 into 20 into 10 power minus 3 minus XC that is 1 by 340 into 50 into 10 power minus 6 whole square plus R square 40 square I am not doing the lengthy calculation here we get approximately 65.6 ohms once you calculate that please calculate and confirm that once you know the Z, I can substitute here and I will get the power average. So, power average is V naught as I told you V peak is uh, V RMS is given for you as V is given as V naught 10 340. So, V peak is 10, but here what we are uh, supposed to write is uh, the value of E RMS or V RMS has to be written. So, once if you know V, getting V RMS is quite easy. How can I get that? We know that V RMS equal to V naught by root 2, that is how they are related. 
that is 10 by root 2 so substituting in the formula vrms means 10 by root 2 by impedance z means as we have calculated 65.6 whole square into r 40 when you calculate that you will get that as close to 0 0.51 watt so the answer for the problem is 0 0.51 watt that's how we solve this problem thank you for watching